What's up guys, we're back here on Black Ops Cold War. I just put the video up of me getting the nail gun DM Ultra, so if you wanna check that out, there should be a link somewhere on the screen. But we still have an LMG to get gold. There's also another assault rifle. We'll save that for another video. But today we will be working on the MG82. It is a new LMG added here in the season four update. And I've heard some very good things about this gun. I've been watching some Warzone streams while I edit and things like that. And it looks like this gun is an absolute force to be reckoned with in Warzone. I've used it a little bit bit in multiplayer. I'm not going to act like I've never used it. Obviously, it's level 12. I don't have a good grip on the gun and how it does overall. So today, I'm going to play one game with it to get my bearings. Then I'm going to grind it all the way to gold. You guys can see the highlights of that. And then I'll give you my thoughts and everything on it after the fact. But we do have some attachments for it. So I'm going to throw on the muzzle brake. I guess we'll throw on this new barrel. Steady aim laser should help. We'll put on a foregrip. I, I think the base mag's probably fine. Speed tape will help out. And I guess that's fine. Uh, I don't, this thing should tear it up. So let's go ahead and hop into a game on hijacked and see how it does. We have already looked at this in my nail gun video, but again, here's another look at it. It looks a little goofy, uh, almost cartoon-like, but hopefully it is way better than it looks. You know, you don't want to judge a book by its cover. Come back here. Holy. Ever since this new season update came out, I've been seeing so many thumpers and I was like, why is everyone using the thumper all of a sudden? And then I remembered they added the nail gun and to unlock the nail gun, you have to get five kills with a special weapon in like 15 different games, I think. So everyone's just getting it done with the thumper. It might be time to put on flak jacket. But right now I'm getting dominated. I think this thing definitely is better in war zone than it is in cold war, but I, I don't think I've given the gun a fair shake yet. There we go. Oh, that's feed. Let's go. This thing's fire rate is crazy fast. It's hip fire. Not too great. I think I, I really should have gotten that kill there. But overall, it's honestly pretty good right now. I feel I feel like I'm always like going back and forth on these weapons when I'm first like getting an understanding of them. But what I've learned from, you know, grinding guns in, in CODs is that once you kind of get a feeling for the gun, it, it's just smooth sailing from there. So I'm still trying to get my footing with it. Ooh, barely survived that. I don't know why I still have a stun on this class. I don't even have floor camos unlocked. Let's switch that to a stim. I think we got to just play a little slower and just lay into somebody with a full clip. There we go. Dang, I just keep getting destroyed by this John McClane guy. All right, you want to post up on B? Go ahead, peek me. There we go. But dang, <laughs> people are going crazy with the thumper. I've never seen so many landed thumper shots. Maybe I just haven't seen the thumper be used too much since I got it gold. Oh, we would not have survived that without armor. There it is. This whole area right here, very, very wall bangable. All right, let's try to sneak down underneath them and pop up behind and get a few kills. That worked out last time for us. That's one. I just saw somebody run this way. Oh, we finally took out John McClane. This guy with the pistol is going to mess us up. Okay, still hanging on. Let me stim wall. I'm already regenning my health. There we go. Oh, okay. I'm starting to get a feel for it. All right, second half. We are 23 and 15 right now. Not too terrible, but I think we're just now starting to get some momentum with this gun. <laughs> and there it goes. There we go. Barely surviving that. Holy. Uh-oh. I got to reload. Can I survive the reload? Oh, my. The, re the reload on this takes like six business weeks. I know I got killed there in the middle of it, but I, I feel like there is still a whole five to ten seconds left on this reload. So if you're using this... I put the biggest magazine as possible on here. If you got a reload, you might as well just die. It's a lot quicker. All right, let's sneak on underneath. Somebody with armor was waiting for us. Okay, sneaking under is not working. We just got to go right up through mid. Okay, that's not working either. We're just getting dominated. Let's try this. I'll throw it on a field mic. And that did nothing. Where'd he go? He's not up here anymore. All right, this half is going significantly worse for us. We are 28 and 26. The gap on going negative is getting smaller. And this guy's just dominating us up here. That's like the fifth time he's killed us. 
There we go. Finally. All right. We went 30 and 29. Uh, I didn't play the best, but when I did land some shots with this gun, it was feeling pretty good. Uh, I think definitely I'm going to be grinding this in hardcore. It'll be a lot faster. So I'm going to go ahead, grind out the camos for this, and I'll see you guys when we get it gold. Let's go. As you can see, we did get the MG82 Dark Matter. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. This gun fucks. Granted, I was playing hardcore with it. But I feel like just looking at the weapon's attributes, it's undeniably the best LMG in this game. This gun has an insanely fast fire rate, very good bullet velocity, insane wall bang ability. The only cons to this weapon is the aim down sight movement speed and the hip fire. Now, the hip fire can be remedied by things like the lasers. And I'm pretty sure there's grips and stuff that help with hip fire accuracy so that's not that big of a deal the biggest thing holding this gun back is its aim down sight movement speed it feels like you're crawling you're moving at about a eighth of a foot per mile i don't even know if that makes sense but just know it's very very slow so the hip fire is not great meaning you have to aim down sight so this is basically a stationary weapon uh, you can move around with it but it is in your best interest to be pre-aiming corners pre-firing corners with this huge magazine but overall very very good gun uh, the biggest challenge with getting this gun dm ultra was the kills behind cover i had basically everything done but i was only halfway on our science camos here and the way i got through these kills behind cover is i head over to quick play here and i queued up hardcore face off 6v6 now these face off maps are pretty small so you don't have to do too much running to find anybody if somebody is behind cover it only takes one bullet to kill them in hardcore so that's an instant kill behind cover and on a lot of these face off maps there are spots where people will just peek their little head over you can easily take them out uh there's a lot of corridors where if somebody's partially behind a doorway or something that'll count for kills behind cover uh initially i started with the method of just going on nuketown trying to go from window to window that was way too slow definitely play hardcore face off 6v6 if you want to grind up this gun the only thing i would say that this this mode does not help with for camos is probably long shots and the flora camos because you won't have access to spy planes and harps uh it, it forces you to use stuns and flashes and things like that so if you want to get those done i suggest playing nuketown or hijack but everything else you can do in hardcore face-off the new map amsterdam uh, i don't see a lot of people talking about it but basically you're fighting across these rooftops they're these big triangle type rooftops so everyone's like peeking their head right over it easy kills behind cover i think after playing about four games of face-off i racked up 25 kills behind cover which is crazy pace that's over half and i went ahead and wiped out these challenges but definitely if you're grinding this gun it's way faster in hardcore i'm sure this thing still slays in core so i'm gonna go ahead and hop into a game of core and see how well it actually does now this is what the mg82 looks like in game with dark matter it looks very nice the coverage is very good and the weapon's good so all around positive reviews for me except for that all right i have to go through the gamer transition of playing hardcore to core so it might take a second to get back used to it but i think we'll be fine you just gotta not get caught with your dick out sprinting around it's definitely a walking weapon and what i mean by that is don't sprint nearly as much the ads time and the time it takes to actually get the gun going basically with this gun you kind of want to stay in one area one region not necessarily camping but just stay around like things like the hard point or something or an angle where you know you can get the first shot on somebody so those things matter a lot with this gun 
it can get out TTK'd a lot, uh, especially in core. So you got to be really careful about what angles you're playing, your positioning and all that. But I still think it's a very good gun. There we go. Let me go ahead and throw a stim on this. I don't need to stun anyone anymore. Flora's done. There we go. Just got to play very slow. Aim down. Just lay into anybody that goes into your crosshair. There we go. Now we're starting to streak a little bit. And also what I've noticed on this map is for whatever reason in this spot, it gets extremely dark. I have no idea why. All right, let's try to sneak in a reload here. Oh, of course. The second we do it, somebody shows up. Also how slow and sluggish this gun is. It, you can definitely feel its weight when you use it. Like it's, it's definitely a very heavy weapon. I might just be stupid or something. Maybe some JROTC kids out there can tell me. Why is it called a light machine gun if this is probably one of the heaviest things you can carry? Oh, there we go. That's what we like to see. Let's go. Ooh, a lot of people over here. They're just spawning in. Come on, go ahead, peek me. No! <laughs> not, 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 don't peek me with the C4. Let's go. Easy double. Oh, come on. Let's go. With this gun, usually I run into like snags going for the, the five kills without dying. But with this gun, I think I had at least like one or two bloodthirsties every game. The amount of ammo and just punishment you can lay down onto like angles, corners, just anything makes this gun so good. I think there's at least five or six games with it where I had like 50 plus kills. Like if that doesn't speak to how dominant this gun can be, I, I don't know what will. I was talking so much trash about this thing's hip fire, but I've been using it a lot this game. You can kind of get away with it in hardcore because you just need one bullet to land, but definitely in core, I would I would try to stay away from it unless they're right in your face. I wonder if we can build this to be like a super fast ADS, like SMG type LMG, like SMG type mobility, I mean. Because if we can get this thing's ADS up and its movement speed up, it could be a force to be reckoned with. Let me try that out. First, let me get this kill. I'm gonna change the class a bit. So let's try, I think our barrel can stay the same. We'll turn up our hip fire accuracy. Let's put on a bruiser grip. I think our mag's fine. Let's try the airborne on it and the raider stock. So next life, we'll see how this thing can do with a little more mobility, but we are trading off the recoil. And on an LMG, it's kind of a risky thing to do, but we'll see if it can pay off. Oh! We're going in with it anyways. All right, now this is our mobility LMG. Let's see if it'll help us out a bit. It seems like our movement speed's already faster, like noticeably faster. Our ADS speed is is pretty fast too. Now let's see if it can keep up damage wise. The, the recoil actually was not that bad to control. Okay, anyone camping up here? Hey, pal. Nope, gonna avoid that whole situation. Try to come through this door, I dare you. <laughs> the second someone walked by, I look away. Let's go. Go up a spy plane, even though I know they have a counter or a jammer nearby. That's just how we do things. Let's go. Let's go. Hip fire does seem way better now that I've added this attachment. And the time to kill has not gone down, I don't think. So definitely try to build this for, for some movement. I wish I would have done this the whole time. It's definitely helping out a lot. It's helping me compete with a lot of these guns except for that one. And that is game. We went 45 and 24, not a bad score line at all. And I, I still stand by this is a very good gun. And core, hardcore, whatever. And I've seen that it's really good in Warzone too. So this is all around good gun. Uh, if you're gonna grind it, I would do it sooner rather than later. I, I can I can smell a nerf coming. But I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, if you guys like this and you wanna see more, leave a like on it. You didn't, you don't, dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And be on the lookout for the C58 video. I'm gonna go ahead and try to grind that out tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I can get it done. If not, it'll be the day after. But that's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time.